Good morning! So I have finally decided that I'm going to do a week in the life of a med student um, because it is my fourth week of being a med student and I feel like I'm finally clambering up onto my feet and um, navigating my way through this somewhat successfully. So um, yeah, welcome to Monday. Um, today is my clinical school day. So I am out here um, at about to get, I'm in my car and I'm about to head into my hospital where I spend um, one day every week. Um, and yeah, we kind of spend the day there doing clinical skills, getting up onto the wards, meeting patients and um, learning how to speak to patients and, and also examine them as well. So yeah, let's um, go through the, the week together and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I am on my way back from my clinical day. Um, it was a pretty good day. Um, I'm really, really hot and sweaty, so excuse the puffing, huffing and puffing, because it is like 37 degrees right now out here in Sydney. Um, so basically what my day at clinical school consists of is we had an hour of class to start the day, just like on infection control, keeping our patients and ourselves safe. Um, and then I spent the rest of the morning doing a toot on, one was on history taking, and one was on kind of practical, um, examinations. So one of the things that I really like about my um, uni is that we get to go to clinical school one day every week um, right from the beginning of first year and then we kind of spend most of our third and fourth years in the hospital like standard MDs. Um, and what I like about it especially for me coming from a really clinical background as a physio I really like that straight away everything we're learning we can apply um, in a clinical setting um, and it kind of reminds me at least once a week of like why I'm slogging away with all the study that I have been lately. And whilst we really don't know anything yet, um, I think that it would be really nice to see it grow um, over the coming years. So I am home and it is now about, what's the time, 6 p.m. And I am procrastinating so much. Like I literally came home and just like flopped on my bed and have been doing nothing for like the last probably hour um, but alas now I feel so guilty so I have to study um, so yeah I'm going to I'm here at my desk um, I'm really dorky I've got a standing desk which I'll show you so this is it um, so you can see a bit messy underneath there but basically I am standing up at the desk um, and I'm doing that because I, the physio in me just cannot sit down all day and I get a really sore back from sitting down in the chairs at uni all day. So my kind of way to counterbalance that is by standing up at my desk. So I haven't bought a chair yet. Obviously my desk can go up and down, but um, I, haven't bought a, <laughs> I haven't bought a chair yet, but we'll see how we go, um, whether or not I cave and get a chair in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to study some of the pharmacology lectures I did at last week. Um, just basic stuff about how kind of your body absorbs the medications but i say basic but it's not that basic because it's been a long time since i've done any of this stuff if at all so yep i'm going to do that and if i'm feeling really excited i'm going to go to the gym later but um we'll see how we go fact it's actually Tuesday afternoon so um, I had a weird bit of a weird schedule with uni today where I had I think it was like maybe eight or nine hours of class scheduled in but then half of it was online so um, this morning I had like three hours of lectures that were meant to be online and now it's about 12 30 so I'm about to head into uni to do some classes um, so the lectures that were online this morning were anatomy and histology and I'm actually feeling a little bit deflated because whilst I woke up and started lectures at 8 a.m. this morning and pretty much worked straight through until 11.30. I actually only covered the two anatomy lectures and didn't even get to histology. So, um, and to be honest with you, histology is a much tougher subject for me than anatomy because I have done anatomy before as a physio. So I'm a little bit like disappointed with my efforts this morning, but I'm just still getting into the groove of this whole study thing. Like I really am struggling at the moment with learning about how long it's taking me to study each lecture and then what is gonna be important information to know and what I need to brush over. I'm still struggling with that. So I'm kind of doing a lot of um, 
learning everything. <laughs> so anyway, it's fine. I'm just going to head into uni now. I've got another three or four hours of class there and then I might go to the gym after that hopefully and try and like run out some of the frustrations of my morning. Okay, so I've got my backpack and in here it has already got my, you probably can't see it, but my laptop is in there, my iPad is in there, my gym gear, my wallet, um, and I probably should pack some snacks actually. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, ready to go. I'm looking like a real school girl with my pigtails on and my backpack, but uh, it's pretty cute. Okay, so for snacks, I've got my um, pear and some like protein ball thingies um, that I did not make, but you can make them, but I am lazy and got them from the supermarket. it's like a bit loud here because I'm on the side of the road but anyway this is where I live um so yeah so, so it is now about I don't know after 7 p.m and I'm just gonna head home and cook some dinner um I'm gonna get inside I might talk to you a little bit about how I have studied for the day and how much class I had and stuff and what my plan is for tomorrow but I am in my room now um okay so how was my day um yeah, look, essentially I studied for about maybe like nine hours today. So I did all that work in the morning and then I went to class and I had three hours worth of class. Then I went to the library after that and I did about two more hours um, of study. And then I went to the gym and I've come home, I've got to make some dinner. And then look, realistically, I probably have like another 45 minutes to an hour with a study that I should do tonight on some anatomy notes. But I have tomorrow off as an independent learning day, which is basically, we have so many lectures and a lot of course content. So we get one day a week um, off, which is to study. Um, but I'm actually going to my clinical school again tomorrow. Um, because I'm shadowing my tutor in the afternoon, but I'll tell you more about that when we get there. Um, but anyway, point is that I will probably do those anatomy notes tomorrow because I'm just like really sweaty and I need a shower, I need to cook dinner, um, and I'm feeling a bit tired. So, yeah. Good morning. It's um, Wednesday morning and I have slept in a bit more than I anticipated. So it is about 9 a.m. now. Um, and I'm kind of loving that I have the option to do that when I'm a student. Like when I was um, working, like obviously you don't have that option because you have to decide good work. Um, yeah, so it is my independent learning day. So I think I'm just gonna like chill in bed for a bit longer and maybe have some breakfast and then we'll see what the day holds. I do need to do a fair bit of study today. Okay, so I have got my breakfast here, some granola and um, my coffee. Yes, and I'm tucked up in bed still. <laughs> now it is 9.30 and I'm gonna do some video editing um, of my Gamsat video that I actually filmed this like a really long time ago. I filmed it, I would say like October or something like that. Um, so it's a bit old, but I think it's like the perfect time to put it out on YouTube now because everyone's um, studying for their Gamsats like super soon. And I remember that was me in the last few years. So um, I'm going to try and finish editing that today so that I can upload it. Okay, so it is about 2.30 now. Um, I went to the cafe for about an hour or so, finished my anatomy notes. I came home, I had every intention of doing histology, and alas, I did not. I got stuck on YouTube and basically just relaxing. I kind of feel like my brain is a bit dead after everything um, that I've been through the last few weeks, like starting uni and moving states, and I'm just feeling like quite exhausted. So I didn't really do too much, and I'm trying not to feel stressed about that. I'm trying to just cut myself a bit of slack today. Um, so yes, so I'm just walking to my car now. I'm gonna head over to Officeworks to get some 
stationery, I need a notebook, um, and I'm considering a printer actually. Um, and then after that, I'm going to head over to my clinical school and do some more work there. Okay, I just parked my car at um, my clinical school. Um, it's about a half an hour drive away from my house, so after office works, that's where I, what I did. Um, and I got a notebook. Um, it's just like a little one because I'm trying to go like paper free. Um, and if people are interested, maybe I can do a vlog about that um, in a few weeks. But essentially, between my iPad and my um, MacBook, I'm not using any paper, but I thought like getting a little pocket book like something like this Which is really small just to kind of have with me on the wards would be helpful just in case I need to drop jot down anything that is really useful um, And the other thing I got from Officeworks was this um, lock because you know, you need a lock for your locker so people don't steal your stuff So yeah, I'm gonna go in now um, And so the person that I am following is on a surgical ward on a vascular and plastics ward And I believe he's also covering some other wards as well today. So I have no idea what to expect I'm just gonna be kind of following him on his shift with another one of my stu uh, fellow students for a couple of hours just to kind of see and what happens I've never really seen like I've se worked on surgical wards before but I've never really trailed a doctor so I don't really know exactly what they do do in these cover shifts after hours so yeah I'm really looking forward to it so we'll see how we go finally home oh, thank God um, like even though I did really nothing for the start of the day it actually felt like quite a busy afternoon so I spent about three hours shadowing um, my tutor and it was like I was kind of a bit like skeptical before I went because I was like well I'm a physio in a hospital like I know what doctors do like that's why I'm studying this course but actually it was really really good to like actually be with him for the whole like step-by-step -step process of his shift and actually doing the jobs that he does and um like on a cover shift um they are really bridging the gap between like the day team and the night team and so they get kind of lumped with a lot of like just mundane kind of paperwork tasks but they're also the people there if like an emergency happens so it was actually really really good because he um he was like so like supportive and let us kind of talk to patients talk to families um taught us how to do some of the like charting of fluids and drug charts and um like got me to go and like confirm some medications with the patient and um we looked at a patient who had um like a hematoma after a cannula so there was a few different things um that we got to do which was exciting and um i don't know i think like just being in the clinical setting is inspiring and i kind of definitely came out with like a big smile and feeling like really accomplished like i actually achieved something today towards my goal of being a doctor update it is 9.45 at night and I just realized that I haven't done my pre-reading for my prac class tomorrow on microbiology. So now I have to do it and of course there's heaps, like there's so, so much. Like let's just look here at this. So there is like 18 pages of like dense stuff to read and multiple videos. So yeah major regret for not actually having prepared earlier and now I'm going to be spending um, a significant part of the next couple of hours preparing for class tomorrow. <laughs> so wish me luck. Okay, so it's Wednesday night and I have been the worst vlogger in the world today, um, mainly because my day was hectic, so hectic. So I basically got up at like I don't know, 6.30, and um, it started off super pleasant. I like met one of my very good friends for coffee, and that was like really nice, and we tried a new place in new town, and that was all delightful. But then after that, I had class from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m., um, and without a break. So I had two one-hour lectures. One was on microbiology, and the other one was on communicating well and getting good feedback. And then I had three pracs in a row. So I had um, microbiology for two hours. I had um, anatomy in the wet labs for two hours. And then I had um, histology for two hours. So essentially, um, crazy epic day, no breaks, um, and I just, felt really mentally fatigued and to be honest a little bit irritated at the end I think it was just so much learning and it I felt really under pressure today in some of the practice like 
I think it's all starting to get to the point where we, we need to kind of be knowing things. And I think it's easy to get frustrated with myself um, when I'm having trouble recalling things, even though it's like a lot of new information coming at once and it's a whole big change in lifestyle. So um, I kind of remedied that by going to the gym straight after uni, coming home, eating dinner, just kind of chatting to my housemate and chilling out. And it's now about 8.30, I'm showered and I'm gonna take this opportunity to go back over some notes and things from today and to prepare for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so it was a crazy busy day and probably not, um, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. Probably not the most exciting day. Um, so yeah, anyway, tomorrow is Friday and I'm going to try and um, vlog a little bit better for the last day of the week. Okay, welcome to Friday morning. So I guess just a rundown of like, I realized actually that I haven't done very much of a um, like rundown of like how my course works or um, the classes that I'm taking. And I'm sure people will have some questions about that. So again, I can go into it a bit more detail if people want like in another video, but essentially what I'm doing at the moment in my course is what we call foundation. So it's the first block of classes. It goes for 10 weeks and it's really just like the forms the basis of all of our knowledge for the rest of our course. So it's really, really mixed and jumbled. So instead of having four kind of discrete subjects, like I'm used to having at university, we have like a whole bunch of just class and then we're examined on all of that content at the end of the 10 weeks. And so it involves things like anatomy. So we're doing anatomy of the upper limb. Um, histology, so we've done kind of skin, muscle, um, connective tissue, nervous tissue, blood, those sorts of things. Um, pathology, um, physiology, infectious diseases, microbiology, biochemistry. Um, we've got some introductions to cancer, introductions to pediatrics. We've got seminars on communication and on your learning style and all that sort of stuff. So it's basically kind of just setting us up for like a successful four years, essentially. Um, and it's been good. Some of the things I know already, so the anatomy is not new to me, so that's more just like revision, but some of the other stuff I've never done before. So being in a microbiology lab, for example, or a histology lab, looking down a microscope, I've never done before. Um, and so that sort of stuff is been really exciting and really fun. I've been loving putting on my like lab coat every day, um, like every week when we go. And, um, and I've kind of formed a really nice study group with some friends where we all kind of fill each other's gaps. Like we've all got experience in different areas and we all kind of help each other, um, in the areas that we don't know. Um, so, so far so good. Um, the volume of the work though is kind of doing this. It's like steadily increasing. And so what I'm finding is that, um, the first few weeks I was kind of able to keep on top of everything and able to keep on top of my study and then now this week in week four I'm actually finding that my like if this is the water line it's kind of coming up above my head a little bit so I'm finding that I'm feeling really tired and that um, the study that we're doing it I just can't kind of keep up with reviewing the lectures every day and it's it's kind of trying to find my feet a little bit as well in terms of studying because I haven't studied for like seven years and so um, it's really hard first of all to remember what you did do before but also I think that this course from what everybody's telling me is really different to everything else so a lot of us are struggling with our studying styles and trying to work out what's best for us so I guess that's kind of the basis of the subjects that I'm doing and, and the time that I'm spending at university. So I do try to spend on the days that I'm there kind of nine to five at uni and study outside of the class times. But for example, like yesterday, classes from 10 till six, there's not a lot of time around that to study um, at uni. And so when I came home last night, I had a bit of dinner and then I did do a little bit more study afterwards, but I just found that my brain was fried and nothing was going in anyway. So I decided to call it a day. And then now we're heading into uni again. It is 9 a.m. So I'm going to head on in. I've got class at 11 and then I think at 11 till 3.30. So I'll probably again, try and stay 9 to 5 do that study and then it is the weekend and I'm excited because my parents are finally coming up this weekend to bring all my stuff so I've been here for the last kind of five weeks or well, without um, all of my possessions <laughs> so they're going to come up and um, it'll be really nice to see them and um, and have a catch up and just have a reminder of home as well so yes yeah, so yeah let's see how we go with today all right so mum and dad have just bought me all my stuff and like look how much there is I don't even know how this is all going to fit in my room and I've actually even taken some boxes up already. So yeah, this is gonna be fun.
Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, it is now Sunday afternoon and my parents have just headed back off um, down towards Victoria. Um, and I had a really lovely weekend with them, bringing me all my things. Um, we basically just ate all weekend and just like went to lots of different restaurants and um, tried all the different good food around the area that I'm living. And um, we went to the National Gallery of New South Wales um, and saw a really cool exhibition there on like modern art stuff. Um, and yeah, they pretty much just kind of, we went to Ikea, obviously a mandatory trip to Ikea and they helped me to um, get some bits and pieces for my room. So my room is starting to come together now. It's looking um, nearly like home, which is really nice. Um, so maybe in the next video, I'll give you a little bit of a tour of that. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling like I had a really nice weekend and I'm feeling, it sounds really weird, but much more like myself now. I think it's really nice to see family and people that remind you of um, home every now and then just to kind of click you back into your normal. Um, and so, yes, I'm feeling really excited about the week ahead, week five of med school. Um, I'm sure, no doubt, I'm going to have lots more challenges, but also lots more exciting times as well. Um, and yeah. That's it. So I guess if you enjoyed this video, um, please make a comment below and like let me know what you think. Let me know if you kind of want me to keep doing more of these videos. If you find them entertaining, I can. Um, or if there's any other videos that you want me to make about med school, I can do that too. So write in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to chat to you and um, get, kind of get to know everybody a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I guess hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.